Shakespeare's play The Life of Henry V was published in the first folio in 1623. Be aware. This was not the first print of the Shakespeare play, it was first printed almost 25 years earlier, in 1600 as the first quarto, Q1. The Q1 version had the title The Chronicle History of Henry V, with a subtitle, With His Battle, Fought at Agincourt in France, together with Ancient Pistol. The Battle of Agincourt must not be seen as an addendum, but as the play's main event. Prologue and text divisions were still missing. The Q1 text was only half as long as the folio version. But this is not yet the full story. Both Henry V's Shakespeare plays, first folio and quarto one, had a preceding play, two years earlier, in 1598 entitled Famous Victories of Henry V. Also containing the addendum of the Battle of Agincourt. Note. This play had entered Stationer's Register already in 1594, but was only allowed to be printed four years later, in 1598. It remains an absolute grotesque that the literary world is still divided about, who wrote this anonymous play, Famous Victories of Henry V in 1594. And why, despite compelling and logical arguments, it cannot be accepted at least, that all three Henry V versions must have emerged from the same brain. We can be sure, with compelling arguments, that this brain did not belong to William from Stratford, but, to the greatest poet and dramatist genius of its time, as this video tries to demonstrate with a yet unnoticed observation, namely to Christopher Marlowe. Be aware. Regarding the play Edward II, there did exist only a singular poet dramatist genius in the early 1590s, being able to write history plays at such an extreme high level. This genius was Christopher Marlowe. Prior to Marlowe's outstanding dramatic period, up to his presumed death, June 1593, no genius William from Stratford, of the same age than Marlowe was known at all, or had written anything, any play, any poem. There is not a single literary work of Shakespeare, which was printed prior to Marlowe's death. Be aware, Shakespeare's Opus 1, Venus and Adonis, appeared weeks after Marlowe's alleged demise, in 1593. Let's have a closer look to the anonymous early Henry V play. Famous victories, by reflecting on a. What may have caused the authorship controversy and b. How we can solve the controversy by contemplating the conversation at the very beginning of the play between King Henry V and John Oldcastle. Consider that the play was registered 1594, only months after the disappearance of Marlowe and his presumed killing in Deptford near London. It can by no means have happened accidentally, that the very first scene of famous victories, registered only months after Marlowe's alleged killing in Deptford, begins with the announcement of Marlowe's departure from Deptford and his life saving by the Crown. Just listen. But tell me sirs, whereabouts are we? My lord, we are now about a mile off London. But sirs, I marvel that Sir John Oldcastle comes not away, sounds, see where he comes. How now jockey, what news with thee? Faith my lord, such news as passed, for the town of Deadford is risen. With hue and cry after your man which parted from us the last night, and has set upon, and has robbed the poor carrier. 
its owns, a villain that was wont to spy out our bitties. I, my lord, even the very same. Now base-minded rascal to rob a poor carrier. Well, it skills not, I'll save the base villain's life. I, I may, but tell me jockey, where about be the receivers? Consider the virtually impossible. The sheer incomprehensible. Yes, the almost unthinkable. The story of Marlowe's killing, is allegorically embedded and unveiled in the anonymous early King Henry V play, in 1594. In plain English let's interpret that. For Shakespeare Academe, the registration of famous victories of Henry V in 1594 represented an irresolvable problem. Concerning its authorship, Shakespeare, the man from Stratford, as a dramatist genius of history plays was neither existent nor a now nor famous in London in 1594. Marlowe the famous dramatist genius and superstar of the London theatre was allegedly stabbed to death, that is, he, officially, was no more existent. Thus an author in 1594, who had to be brought into agreement with the first folio play of Henry V could not possibly, plausibly or logically be located or identified 